Hello everyone, Chaylen Jackson with Senior Marketing Specialist Key Accounts Team. I wanted to talk about a couple Medicare enrollment updates from some commonly asked questions that we've been getting lately. Um, first big one is, in case folks haven't noticed, the past couple years there's been a trend with Medicare that unless someone is already drawing benefits, either railroad retirement or Social Security, um, it is really uncommon for someone to be automatically enrolled in Part A. A lot of that is due to some policy and technical changes related to the prevalence of health savings accounts, which of course people are not eligible to make those tax uh, free contributions to HSAs if they do have any part of Medicare. So to help seniors avoid tax consequences uh, when they're still working at age 65, that automatic Part A enrollment for the most part is no longer a thing. If someone is still working, they are going to have to enroll in both Parts A and B when they're ready. They can do that by calling Social Security or going to the local office to enroll in Part A. Part B, of course, can be enrolled online still. But the big trick there, what we keep hearing from agents and from clients alike, is that if someone has an appointment on the books with the local Social Security office, which in many cases may be three to four months out due to the wait times, unfortunately, they will not generally allow you to enroll over the phone. So maybe try doing it over the phone first, unless your uh, client or the beneficiary has some major technical challenges, um, just because it's going to be a little faster, a little more convenient, and we want to make sure they don't have that appointment on the books with Social Security before they make that call to ensure they get the help they need. Another thing, if you're having any issues with the new Part B immediate enrollment provisions, uh, we're in the middle of GEP right now. Folks are picking up Part B if they missed initial enrollment or something like that. They should be getting that next month effective date. Um, but if you are running into any issues with that, let us know. We have seen a couple quirks and tweaks that we've needed to make. Um, and you'll make some calls on behalf of, of clients to make sure they're getting the enrollment period and the eligibility dates that they deserve. Also a reminder, as we go into the rest of the year, that um, part of last year's policy and technical changes added some Part B exceptional circumstances, SEPs, that Medicare is allowed to grant for folks who missed Part B general enrollment period or their initial enrollment period. So there are some additional cases where they may be enrolled in Part B throughout the year, just have to call Medicare and kind of plead their case on that. So if you're having more issues with Part A or B enrollment or questions about penalties or premiums, please don't hesitate to check out the resources below or call your team at Senior Marketing Specialists, 800-689-2800.